Yo, let's talk about dad gay tuning real quick. So as you can see from the letters, it's pretty much the same as drop D, but your B string is just down a full step to A. It's really good for like math core, screamo, post hardcore, regular emo music, anything that you want to use it for, metalcore, deathcore. It's good for all that stuff because it's pretty much just drop D. You can do all your drop D stuff. and this is a bulbous dad gay butt. The biggest difference with dad gay and drop D is the fact that, you know those panic chords that you like so much in all these screamo math core genres? They're way easier to do because since your B string is a full step down, the interval between the G string and the A string is much closer. So instead of having to do this chord where it's like, you know, eight on the G string and five on the B string, that still works as a panic chord, but because the interval's smaller, you also have that panic chord up here with the eight and the seven on the G and B string. And maybe I didn't explain that super in depth because I just wanted to use these panic chords because they're so fun. But let's take like eighth fret on the G string. I believe the note is D sharp. So. And then the seventh fret on the B string, which is tuned to A, is going to be an E. So because it's like one note or one semitone above the D sharp, it's going to create that that dissonance and also you have an E on the top so, so you could like strum like the top three strings and be like oh it's so dissonant it's so fucking rad but um you also if you go down like one note so you're on the sixth fret of the B string and the eighth fret of the G string those are the same notes you can do those cool little like or So you can get a little fun there. And then if you go down to like what would be a normal panic chord, you get the D sharp and the D. So it creates these really fun things where you can just like go down on that B string. And I know that this is like by far the goofiest and corniest tutorial I've ever made, like the facial expressions and everything, but you will immediately have so much fun when you are using this tuning. You'll feel like you're in like Norma Jean or Fall of Troy or The Bled or Tony Danza Tap Dance Extravaganza or something like that. Like it is just immediate fun. Um, it also works really well for like, you know, all those normal drop D things like the three, five, seven, eight sort of zone, like octave chords sound really good with like the open A and E at the top. like. So yeah, I know that wasn't a super in-depth introduction to dad gay, but you know, I approach things in a very boneheaded way. I'm sure there's a lot of tutorials out there that are a lot more in-depth, but I like to like approach a new tuning and see how I can use it to work for me and then kind of expand from there. So as I learn more about the tuning, I might share more. Let me know if you have any questions. Maybe I can try and research and learn a bit to answer more questions, but uh, yeah.